nothing lifts the spirits more than a trip to the Karoo. And my favorite place is the farm Middle Plass near the Coxcomb Mountains, which has been home to four generations of Chubes. We're here with Celia Smith, who is legendary for her rooster cooker. Celia, what ingredients do you use to make your rooster cooker? The tin cook is made and it's a lot of salt and it's a lot of salt and it's a lot of warm water. It's a lot of cold water and it's a lot of warm water and it's a lot of cold water. Okay, so that's 10 cups of flour, a tablespoon of salt, a packet of instant dry yeast and about a litre of lukewarm water. You can take half a litre of cold and half a litre of boiling water and then mix the two together. Celia, what method are you going to use to make the roasted cooker? Ik ben stand hier op mijn kaart gooien naar een lauw warm water pak en met dierkeni. Als het gaat rijsten, dan ga ik het dierkeni met olie. Dan ga ik het oprijsten voor twee uur en dan zullen we weer gaan rijsten voor twee uur. En dan ga ik het uitrollen en snijden en dan ga ik het weer opnemen. So just to recap, she's going to mix the dry ingredients together, add the lukewarm water, mix it through, knead it, and then let it rise for approximately two hours until it's doubled in size. And then she's going to knead it again. Let it rise out again for about two hours till it's doubled and uh, then she's going to roll it out and cut it into roasted cook shapes. kneaded the dough for five to ten minutes and it looks beautiful and we're now going to wrap this um, bowl and the dough in a, a cloth and um, it's got to be quite tightly wrapped and that will then go into um, this wonder oven where it's going to rise for about two hours until it's approximately doubled in size if you don't have one of these then um, you can just wrap it tightly in your cloth and put it in a nice sunny warm spot um, for about two hours the dough has risen beautifully and Celia is now going to pour in a little bit of oil so that she can work, work the dough properly. Needed the risen dough now and it's going to be covered up again and it's got to rise up again for the second time and then we're ready for the next step. The dough has now risen out for the second time and Celia is going to roll it out on this floured sheet and uh, cut it into pieces. Your rooster cooker like voller look. We're going to uh, finish these off and then we're going to enjoy them with some jam and butter and coffee.